Hey, what's up there, Diesel First? Today I'm going to show you how you can remove or replace an AC compressor on your vehicle. And as you remember from my uh, video on how to find uh, small and large AC uh, leaks, which I'll put a link to right here on this side of the screen and in the description box as well, uh, the AC compressor on this car has developed a leak and that's why we're going to be replacing it today. Alright, and here's a closer look at our uh, used AC compressor that I'm going to be putting in this car. Now, this procedure is not going to be exactly the same for our makes and models, but the general concept of an AC compressor is pretty much the same throughout many different makes and models. They're all belt driven and they're usually mounted to a bracket by four bolts which in our case is going to be going through here. They have two lines, high pressure and low pressure AC lines and they also have uh, one connector for the AC compressor coil. I should also mention that if you're thinking of replacing your AC compressor because you hear noise from your compressor but your AC system otherwise is working properly then uh, there's a chance that actually the noise you're hearing is from you're coming from your AC compressor clutch or bearing. And I've already done a video on how you can diagnose and replace these parts and I'll put a link to it right here on this side of the screen. I'll put also a link in the description box and these are replaceable parts uh, on your AC compressor that you can replace without uh, evacuating refrigerant or replacing the entire AC compressor. Alright now I should go without saying before we can remove our AC compressor we would have first need to uh, remove all the refrigerant that's in the system. Now, this is not something a do it yourself, I can't do it, but uh, if you call around, you can get this done for uh, very cheap uh, at, at your local garage. All right, now on this car, AC compressor had a huge leak, so all the refrigerant already uh, escaped into the atmosphere, unfortunately. But again, if your AC system still has refrigerant in it before you open it up, make sure you get that uh, removed at, uh, at your local garage, all right? All right, so the first thing we want to do is to remove our AC compressor drive belt. Also, I should mention that whenever you open up your AC system, you need to look into replacing your receiver dryer or your AC accumulator uh, based on your car's make and model. And if you're not sure what those are, uh, suggest you watch this video which I made recently right here on how your car's AC system works and also how you can uh, diagnose different problems with your car's AC system. And I will be replacing the receiver dryer on this car, but I'll make a separate video for that and I'll uh, put a link to that video at the end of this video and also in the des description box as well. And in order to get to our uh, AC compressor belt tension mechanism, we need to raise the support on the side of the car and then remove our wheel. Ah! All right, next we'll remove this flashlight that's held in by these uh, two 10 millimeter bolts. There we go. All right, here's a look at the tension mechanism for our AC compressor belt. And as you can see, this belt is behind our uh, power steering pump belt, which is this one. So, you know, I'm not going to be replacing this belt because this belt is in good shape. Uh, that's only because I replaced it about a year ago. But if you were to replace it, you would have to first remove this belt, then this belt. Uh, but right now, for this uh, AC compressor replacement procedure, we're only going to loosen this belt enough so that we can slide it off our AC compressor. And we do that by first loosening this locking nut, and then by uh, loosening this adjusting bolt all the way. And then when it's loose enough, we can just slide our belt off our tensioner this. Then we can go up top and slide it off our AC compressor as well and just set it to the side. Alright, so next we'll start by removing this little plastic connector for our AC compressor uh, coil by first removing this uh, plastic cover and then just pressing on this little uh, plastic tab and pulling up. There we go. Alright, next we'll remove our uh, low and high pressure lines which are attached to our AC compressor by these two 12 millimeter bolts. Again, obviously you want to make sure you've already evacuated all the refrigerant from the system. Also make sure you don't lose these little washers. All right, there's one line. There we go. Also you should go without saying that you want to replace all these little O-rings that are on your AC lines. Uh, these O-rings go bad from time to time and start leaking in. If you're taking them, if you're taking everything apart, you've already got the refrigerant evacuated. This is a perfect time to replace as many of these little uh, O-rings as you can. All right, so next we'll be removing the four bolts that are holding our AC compressor to our engine. And this one, you can see up top, there's one right below it that you probably cannot see. And then there's two on the other side as well. And in our case, these are also 12 millimeter. All right, here's the last bolt. And let's see if we can uh, fish this compressor out of here. So close. There we go. All right, next you want to put your old compressor next to the new compressor and compare everything and make sure everything matches. 
All right, next you need to put in a refrigerant oil or PAG oil into your AC compressor. And you can find out how much or what type of oil you need to put in your compressor either through your manual or sometimes there, uh, there are stickers on your compressor or uh, on your hood or on your engine bay, they'll tell you that. All right, and here's a sticker we got on our hood that has our uh, air conditioning information on it. As you can see, our compressor lubricant is a uh, PAG FD46XG and it uses about 140 to 160 cubic centimeters or in other words about 4.7 to 5.5 ounces and basically that FD46XG is just going to mean a PAG46 refrigerant oil there's three types of uh, main PAG oils out there but uh, PAG46, PAG100 and PAG150 and you can buy this at your local auto parts store I bought this at O'Reilly's for about nine bucks also to clarify, other components of your AC system will need refrigerant oil put in them if you're going to be replacing them with a new one and that what you see here is just for your uh, AC compressor. Alright, so since I'm going to be using a used AC compressor, I'm, I'm not sure how much uh, oil is in there. What I'm going to do is basically just uh, turn this upside down, then turn the clutch and try to empty out as much as the, of the oil as I can. I have a feeling the person that mailed this to me uh, since I bought this on eBay, it's probably done this and this is pretty much uh, empty, but you want to try to make sure anyway. Now, if you're going to be replacing your AC compressor with a new compressor, you want to make sure and ask if the new one comes with uh, refrigerant oil already in it or not. Alright, so now that we know how much uh, refrigerant oil and what kind of refrigerant oil we need to put in, your, uh, put in our compressor, I just have to figure out a way of measuring it and what I do is just uh, measure the uh, the container plus the refrigerant oil that I have on my little scale over here and as you can see I have nine ounces total so I'm just gonna start pouring it in and I'll stop when uh, I get to four ounces on the scale which will mean I've put in about five ounces and that's right in between our uh, 4.7 to 5.5 ounces of refrigerant oil required for this compressor and I've decided to put only uh, five ounces which is on the lower side of the specifications for this compressor because I figured there's still some uh, refrigerant oil in this used compressor and you know if I put 5.5 ounces then there'll probably be too much oil. And as far as which side we're going to put our oil in, we're going to be putting it in down our uh, suction or our low pressure side which is this bigger hole on our compressor. And as you're putting oil, if the oil starts building up and starts to almost to overflow, now what you want to do is just to turn the clutch a couple turns which will in turn turn the shaft inside the compressor and that will suck in the refrigerant oil. Alright as you can see we got about 4 ounces left from our total of uh, 9 ounces which means we put about 5 ounces of uh, refrigerant oil into our compressor. And before we put this compressor back on the car I'm going to put these little caps on here so that the oil doesn't spill out. Alright, now before we put on our AC compressor, we're going to go around and replace all these little O-rings on our AC lines. And you, you don't want to just do the ones that go to your AC compressor. You want to get do, do all the ones that you can get your hands on. Like there's going to be two O-rings for these two lines that go to our expansion valve back here. Alright, so you obviously want to put them next to each other and compare them. Make sure they're both exactly the same size. Next you want to dab your finger in some refrigerant oil and get it all over this uh, your new O-ring. Alright, next we'll just slide it on. And then we do this for every O-ring we have back here. All right, now we can put on our AC compressor. Also, when putting the bolts for your AC compressor, make sure you can turn these in by hand. That way, you make sure that you're not cross tightening them. All right, next, you torque them down to your manufacturer's torque specifications. All right, next up, our AC lines. I'm going to do this uh, high pressure side first. Make sure it goes in all the way. And then make sure you torque these down as well. All right, next, we'll put on our uh, connector. Next we'll slide on our uh, AC compressor belt. Next we come down here and put it on our tensioner as well. Next we run our adjuster bolt until we get the proper tension on our belt. And when we have the proper tension on our belt, we're going to tighten down this locking nut. Alright, that's all there is to replacing an AC compressor. So if this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, you may also want to consider the next video I'm going to be putting up, which is to replace the receiver dryer on this car as is recommended whenever you open up your AC system. Now, to be accurate, this car doesn't have any receiver dryer, but it has this uh, thing called a desiccant element, which basically does the same thing that we're gonna have to replace in order, but in order to get to this, we're gonna have to remove our uh, 
AC condenser since this goes on the side of our AC condenser. So if you're interested in knowing how to replace one of these or your AC condenser, then I suggest you watch the next video, which I'll uh, put a link to along with other related AC repair videos on the screen, which you can click on. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.